How are you all doing this fine evening? I recently just found out that uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is ending after 20 years on the air. So I am going to do uh, a memorial game of Who Wants to Be a Mi a memorial special of Who Wants to Be Millionaire Kids Edition. I just want to make sure you heard me. Sorry. The microphone was pretty far away from me. So, yeah, recently I found who wants to be, so I'll say it again. Recently I found out who wants to be a millionaire is ending after 20 years on the air. So I thought I'd do a little memorial here with, by playing who wants to be a millionaire kids edition. Aubrey has made the million and got to the million dollar, has won the million dollars. Probably a lot less than I, hey, probably a bit less than I have. Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. Here we go. Now how many players do we have? Let's, Just you, let's all right, up. that's fine. Would let's, you like to go up? Let's rock and roll tonight. Hey, it's Regis. What's the 411 on your name? A million dollar victory in this memorial now, special. Now, on to the hot seat. For $100. Okay, here we go. Take a look at your first question. U.S. Which of these items is traditionally hung from a fireplace mantle at Christmas? Add C. Stocking. Pretty sure that C will do the trick, huh? Yep. I guess you could say that answer was the bomb. You're right. That's a nice one. That's one hundred dollars. Hey guys, just recently now for I got my bucks, Skype Take a look running, at this. So I might be so. And uh, Daniel was the Daniel Monahan was the first to become my friend on Skype, so we could be uh, calling each other soon. Which of the following is normally used to write on a blackboard? Chalk C. You want to select answer C? No problem. Smooth move. You got it. Very smooth. Very smooth. Hey, two questions, two hundred dollars. It's bound to be more than your allowance. And all you have to do to get another hundred is answer the next question correctly. In a game of Red Rover, you typically ask another wit kid to do what? Oh, uh, come over, B. Going with answer B for sure. Red okay. Rover, Red Rover, please send Smooth Regis move, to come you got over. it. <laughs> He's too old for that game. <laughs> You're on the board with $300. Let's see how you do with the next question. Hey, which of the following sports do you serve the ball? That is volleyball, D. You sure that answer D is the one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're right. You're on your way. For $1,000, here we go. Which former U.S. president's last name is the same as the current comic, Strip Cat? 
Oh, Garfield. James D. James Garfield. Final answer. You sure that answer D is the one? Garfield okay. the cat. I guess you could say that answer was the bomb. You're right. Man, you breezed your way through the early ones, but now that you've reached the first safe haven, they're gonna get a lot tougher. What musical group released the album Black and Blue? Oh dear. I'll ask the audience. Let's see what our young audience thinks. Ooh, Backstreet Boys, okay. That sounds good enough. These kids seem to be leaning in a certain direction. Go ahead, take another 15 seconds to think about it. They seem right. D Backstreet Boys, final answer. Trusting your peers, I like that. But I've seen other ways go. Cool, yes. that's right. That's right. I've seen, it, I've seen it go the other way, but it did it that time. Even though I did waste a lifeline. 2,000 bucks and counting. Now, here comes your $4,000 question. $4,000, here we go. Sorry. A negative number is written with what symbol before? B minus sign, final answer. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. Nice job, kid, you're right. Didn't need a lifeline there. Hey, you're really up on this stuff. Let's see how you do with your $8,000 question. Which of these states lies west of the Mississippi River? Ooh, that looks hard. A lifeline should do the trick. It's a power up for this question. I've got the right kid to call. Luckily, we've been given a phone number of his favorite arcade. Let's see if he knows his geography. Happy first time arcade. Hello. Hey, it's Regis Philbin trying to get a hold of Brian. Is he lurking around that video machine in there? Brian, it's him again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Brian, it's Regis calling. It's pretty loud over there. Can you hear me? Oh, of course. Nothing. How's it going, Regis? Fine. Too fine. Loud you know, me, we've got Brian. a millionaire question just for kids, and we could use your opinion. Can you help? Well, I hope it's about video games. No, 30 it's seconds about on the clock, please. Here we go. This is totally not about video games. <laughs> Man, I'm going to drop it. the ball here. I don't know it. Can you at least give us a guess? A guess, huh? Well, uh, okay, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, it's B. You're sure you're right? Do I sound sure? What are you thinking? Good enough. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Yeah, cool. Keep it tight. He says answer B. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Doesn't seem so sure.
Iowa. He seems right, so I'll go with Iowa. B, final answer. Is that really your final answer? I'll go with him. You're thinking our phone a friend is right. Okay. Nice going, you're I got right. It. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you're quite the expert. Thank That's you, That's eight grand so far. Two more and you'll hit the next safe Not haven. Really, I Let's play. two lifelines. See if I can reach 32,000. In the process of photosynthesis, a plant produces nutrients by using the energy from... I'm going to use a 50-50. Okay, 50-50. Sure that what should it is, narrow things I'm down. Use hey, computer. Yank two of the incorrect answers out of there, okay? Thank you. There okay. you have it. Hope it helps. Sunlight, A, final answer. You're going to take a chance on answer A. Please. You are yeah. wicked right. Ha-ha! <laughs> Nine questions and $16,000. Come on, kid. Onward and upward. I don't know. This may be a hard one. I'm out of lifelines. In tennis, a player who steps in front of the or on or in front of the baseline while committing serving commits a what? Oh, that's a C football. Final answer. You think answer C is pretty tight, don't you? Hey, you're right. That would be the You must be the smartest kid in your class. Yeah. You've managed to get to the second safe haven of the game, and that million bucks is just five questions away. Let's play. 64,000. Here we go. In the 1997 animated movie Hercules, what does the god Hades instead of hair? Oh, that's B claims final answer. For real? Is that your final answer? Free guess, but really easy free you guess. You think answer B will help you ace this one, huh? Nice going, yeah. you're right. 64000 dollars Woo woo! You know you're a genius. I hope you do this well in your math tests. Let's see if you can keep up the good work with your one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar question. Dollars. Here we go. What scientific principle explains that, like, um, that is refraction? See, final answer. Is that really your final answer? Yeah. Explains that light changes in light that could cause rainbows. C may be an average grade, but it could be a good answer. <laughs> it's not a good grade in my massage school, I can tell you. Nice job, kid. You're right. Three more, and it's a million dollars. I think you got the college fund started here. That's 125,000 bucks and a chance at a quarter million. <laughs> here we go. For 250,000 in, in 1588, what to explore helped defeat the Spanish Armada as vice admiral? Admiral of his fleet. I'm gonna go with Sir Francis Drake. A final answer. Final? I'm pretty confident it's for Drake. You gotta take a chance on answer A. If I don't, it's 93,000. Bye bye. Hey, you're yeah. right. Woo! This isn't just who wants to be a quarter millionaire. You better check out the half million dollar question. Here it comes. For $500,000, here we go. Which of these historic figures is buried near his famous horse named Traveler? Uh, if I had the 50 50 item. I, I, I'd 
narrow it down. But I'll tell you this, I'm gonna, since uh, uh, we're paying tribute to who wants to be a millionaire, we're gonna play a second game this for this video. So I'm gonna walk away. You're giving up? At least you're yeah. at the top of tonight's leaderboard. That earns you the right to see the correct answer. Robert E. Lee. I was gonna go with Robert E. Lee, but Paul Revere sounded Tight. interesting. That's one fantastic score. I mean, I'm really impressed. But I'll be even more impressed if you go back and take it to the limit on. Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. All right, I still got another, right, still got another game to play. So we're gonna keep it going. Hey, it's Regis. What's the 411 on your name? This time I'm going to, uh, prank Regis. I'm gonna make Regis unhappy. I'm gonna like, piss him off. You didn't think I'd let you get away with that, did you? Please! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> with my hair cut, time to I stop certainly do chilling look like a dweeb. And check out your first question. <laughs> Day. Um, home. That's a uh, homeroom. B final answer. You're putting your money I on answer B. It's in high school. I've seen it. Move, yep. move. You got it. You're off and running, but that one was pretty easy, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's see if your two hundred dollar question is more of a challenge. <laughs> Should have done that the first game. Which of these drinks is usually sold in a car carton container? Milk. C. Final answer. Ready to commit to answer C already? Carton of milk. Good. Hey, you're right. MacArthur, Australian for milk. Two down, 13 to Would go. Like hey, no sweat here, mug? right? A, a bottle or a mug? A mug. Mug. You got it. Ow. <laughs> What does the J stand for in a PB&J sandwich? That's jelly. B. Cool. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. You are wicked right. Three in a row and three hundred dollars. Now for five hundred bucks. Take a look at this hmm. one. Here we go. For five hundred dollars. Since the 1980s, Jeffrey the Giraffe has been the mascot for what retail store? That's B, Toys R Us. Final answer. B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. I guess you could say that answer yeah, was the bomb. Cheerleading. You're right. <laughs> Excellent work, my friend. Now let's see if you can double your money with this next question. Peanuts characters is Charlie Brown's sibling. That's Sally D. You're all over, Answer D. No problem. Can you tell that to Blake? You are Sorry, wicked uh, right. Nice going, kid. That's one thousand dollars guaranteed. No pressure on this next one. Just a free shot at two thousand dollars. That freaking. Fat troll. In the animated TV cartoon series, Pinky and the Brain, what do the main characters want to do in every episode? Take over the world. A. Final answer. Okay. A it is. Me, girls. <laughs> You're obviously pretty sharp. That's correct. Yeah. That's the too grand too in your column and a chance to double to it. All you gotta do is answer this next one right. <laughs> Easy enough, huh? Maybe Dweeb will do better than Donovan Scalco. 
What type of music does, what style of music does Little Bow Wow perform? D, rap, final answer. Hey, answer D looks pretty fly to you, doesn't it? Got it. Nice job, kid, you're right. You're doing great, but don't get overconfident. These may be kid questions, but they're gonna get harder. For example, take a look at your $8,000 question. Eight away from that million dollars. Which of these tourist sites is located on an island? Statue of Liberty, Sears Tower, SeaWorld, Specio. That's uh, Statue of Liberty, A, final answer. That's uh You're down Ellis with Island. answer A. Fair enough. Cool, that's right. Eight in a row and eight thousand dollars. We're about million. to get into the big money here, so they're gonna get a lot oh tougher. Boy. Check out I your sixteen thousand dollar question. Which of these animals does not have a backbone? A dolphin, a penguin, a bat, or a crab? I'm gonna use the 50-50. All right, your choice is 50-50. Computer, go ahead, remove two of the answers, making sure the correct answer is still on the screen. Okay, let's hope that was That's useful. That's a D crab, final answer. It's You're sure that answer D is the one? Are just okay. Shelled. They shouldn't have any backbone. You are there wicked right. I was afraid of that, but they're mammals. You're doing great. If you could keep this up for one more question, you'll reach the second safe haven. Let's get to it. All right. Thomas Jefferson's last name is the middle name of what U.S. president? That's uh, B. Bill Clinton, final answer. Going with answer B for sure? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, you're right. Boy, you're one sharp kid. You've hit 32,000 and the second safe haven of the game. Now let's pick up the pace and take a look at your next question. Here we go, five away from the million dollars. For 64,000, let's play. A scientist studying humus would most likely examine a sample of what? Okay, want to ask the audience? No problem. Gee, I hope that was more hope than it looks. Yeah, me Go too. ahead, take another 15 seconds to think about it. I'm still thinking about it. All right, I'll go with them. B, soil, Is that final your final answer? answer? Going with the majority, I see. One. Smooth yeah. move, you got it. Yeah. That was my hunch. Your four questions from the top. You can do it. Okay, don't rush me. Oh, don't rush me, dweeb caller. <laughs> In 1967, the Six-Day War occurred in what region of the world? I'll phone a friend. Let's go to school and see if our straight-A student, Hudson, can lend us oh, a yeah, hand. Oh, yeah, Hudson! I love him. Hello, principal's office. If you don't mind, could you page Hudson to the office? We could use his aid on a millionaire question. Fine. Hudson, get over here. Please, don't be a... Bossy bitch. This is Hudson speaking. 
Hey, Hudson. It's Regis. Well, hello, Mr. Philbin. How are you doing? Well, not bad at all. You think you could lend us a hand with the Millionaire Kids Edition question? I'm always glad to make good use of my excellent education. What's the question? Well, that's really nice of you. Take a look at this. In 1967, the Sixth Day War occurred in what region of the world? hard questions today, eh? I knew you'd be on top of the academic stuff. Well, I think it's D. Yes. That's my best guess. Sounds good. Thanks for giving that's us your what opinion. I think. Goodbye, that Mr. seems Bill. bright to me. Well, he picked answer Let's go D. Let's for it. What do you say? D, Middle East, final answer. For real? Is that your final answer? Israel. I, re I can see um, You're thinking our Iran friend is right. Israel okay. in that war. I, I can picture it. Cool, that's right. Woo! Oh, you've really got the goods, kid. Three this away next from the question million. is worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Take a look. Oh, I really want to get that million. We let's do it to make who wants to be a millionaire happy. Chief Sitting Bull was part of what Native American tribe? My gut tells me Sue. is B. Sue. Is that really your final answer? No way. I don't think it's Shawnee. B is not only a decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. Hey, you're right. <gasps> This isn't just who wants to be a quarter millionaire. No you way. better check out the half million dollar question. Here it comes. Here we go. For $500,000, we can do it. Which of these characters is a villain from the holiday TV special, The Year Without a Santa Claus? That's C, Snow Miser. Final answer. Is that like totally yeah. your final answer? Sorry, it was lagging. Ready to commit to answer C already? Good. You are wicked right. Five hundred thousand dollars! Woohoo! Oh, there's the golden floor. Five hundred thousand will put you at the very top of tonight's leaderboard, but come on! You can't stop there. No. You're one we question can't. away from we one can't. million dollars. We gotta get the million! Let's send, let's finish, let's say goodbye to who wants to be a millionaire with a bang! For one million dollars. In 1982, a street in Berlin was named in honor of which of these people? Jesse Owens, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and Frank Albert Einstein.
my gut tells me Anne Frank. It's not Albert Einstein. It's not Roosevelt. Lean it towards and lean towards either. Sorry, I'm just doing it like it's regular show mode, like there's no clock. That's why I haven't paused. Guys, we're gonna try for another. We're gonna try for the million and then for another with another two games uh, tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna walk with a half million dollars. Had enough, huh? Well, you're at the top of tonight's Anne leaderboard Frank. anyway. Just for fun, here's the correct answer. It was Jesse Owens. Fourteen questions in a row, but the last one was too much for you, huh, kid? Oh well, there's always next time you come back to play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So I up Kids three edition. Three quarters of a million dollars for those two games. Uh, the, okay, guys, that wraps up another. Wraps up uh, the first part of my farewell special of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I'll see you all later for a new video. Oops. See you all later, guys.